Welcome to Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. In this video, we will be covering how to configure and customize our GIS pop-ups. I am excited to walk you through this process. With that said, let's get started. Open a web app in ArcGIS Online. Let us click on some feature on the map. So nothing popped up, right? So I will go ahead and enable the pop-up by navigating to More Options and click on Enable Pop-up. Do that. Now we can see a pop up is displayed with some attributes and their values in it. If we observe the data is clumsy and as the number of attributes increases, it becomes hard to find some value in it, right? So, to make things easier, let us customize this pop up. So, to do that, click on more options again and select configure pop ups. So this opens up a window to configure where pop-up title would be the title shown in pop-up and there are other options to display like images or charts to be displayed in pop-ups. But we stick to pop-up contents in this video as we are customizing the attributes displayed in the pop-up. If we select the a custom attribute display, we will be seeing the configure button. Click on configure and a new window opens. So select view HTML source. So here we can paste any HTML code to customize our pop-up. And I will go ahead and copy the HTML code for our custom pop-up. I will select the first div and paste it in the custom attribute display. So this code basically has a div and a table and divided few attributes to a group called ownership. So let's click on OK and OK in the pop-up menu. Now select a feature. Now we can see a change in how the pop-up attributes are displayed. It looks clean now. If we need some more attributes to be displayed in this pop-up, we can directly append to the HTML code. But if we need more of grouping and stuff, for suppose, here we have many number of attributes. What we can do is create a pop-up config Excel. So this is the Excel which has all the grouping and stuff and write some Python code to automate the process of generating the HTML file, the code which we are pasting in the custom attribute window. And this is the Python code which does the same. So it will take the values from config Excel, the groups and colors the attributes data accordingly and generates an HTML file for us. So you can customize the code or Excel based on your needs. For now, I will copy the generated HTML file and paste it in the configure pop-up. So I will copy this file. and paste it in the configure pop-up window. Select the view, HTML source and paste it. Click on OK and OK in the menu, pop-up menu. Now select a feature. Now the pop-up looks way better than the one which we saw first. As we divided the attributes in groups and user has a good UI experience. Also, it would be an easy task for them to find the attribute which they are looking for. This is how we would be configuring and customizing the RGS pop-ups. As we covered the required things, I think this would be a great stopping point. This has been Tesselbytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tesselations.us Also, subscribe and ring that bell.